stand still. Our mute button's on still. Is it? I don't know. I can't see it. No. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Good morning, everyone. It's Principal Gagnon here with our special guest who just happens to be my dad, Mr. Monsignor, also affectionately known today as Gramps. And he's here to read a couple of stories to you all for reading month. And assisting him today are two lovely second graders. Say hi, Naraya Foster. Hi. And she's got some decorative wear on, so she's prepared to assist Gramps with his reading today. And we also have Ane Higgins. Say hi, Ane. Hi. And Ane also has some decorative wear as well. All right, Gramps, are you ready? I'm ready. I got uh, uh, the first book I'm going to read is Click Clack Moo. And uh, cow's that type. And I, I, I brought Hank, our, our favorite little cow here. And I, I put a sock on his head because he makes a lot of noise sometimes. So we'll see if he behaves at all. Okay, so. Oh. I'll put him over here on the side of the table. You'll be good. Okay, you okay, buddy? Whoa! Hey, this is serious. This is a reading time. What? What? He's crazy. And we have a duck. Show the duck. Get the ducks in the book also. All right. So you 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 behave, Henry. All right. All right, ready? Put the lights on the pages here for me. All right. Whew. The book is Click, Clack, Moo, Cows That Type. You ever hear a cow that type before? Oh, wow. Farmer Scott has a problem. His cows like to type. All day long he hears, click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. As you can see. At first, he couldn't believe his ears. Cows that type? Impossible. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. Oh, okay. And then he couldn't believe his eyes. Dear Farmer Scott, the barn is very cold at night. We like some electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. Boy, the cows are really. It was bad enough the cows had found the old typewriter in the barn. Now they wanted electric blankets. No way, said Farmer Scott. No electric blankets. So the scouts went on strike. They left a note on the barn door. Sorry, we're closed. No milk today. Wow, that's pretty rough on the cows, isn't it? To say that. No milk today, cried Farmer Scott. In the background, he heard the cows busy at work. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack. What that was? Moo. moo. Got to show the pictures. I know. The next day, he got another note. Dear Farmer Scott. The hens, you got a hen here? Show the hen, yeah. The hens are cold too. They need electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. Oh, picture, picture. The cows are grown impatient with the farmer. They lift a new note on the barn door. It says, what's it say there? Clothes, no milk, no eggs. eggs. Oh, no eggs, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard them. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack. Moo. Got to be frustrating for Farmer Scott. Cows that type, hens that strike. Whoever heard such a thing? How can I run a farm with no milk and no eggs? Farmer Scott was furious.
Farmer Scott got out his own typewriter. Dear cows and hens, there will be no electric blankets. You are cows and hens. I demand milk and eggs. Sincerely, Farmer Scott. Kind of looks like the uh, media center guy, doesn't it? What a hat. <laughs> duck. Show the duck again. Where's the duck? Duck was a neutral party, so he brought the ultimatum to the cows. There's the duck walking with the note. The cows held an emergency meeting. All the animals gathered around the barn to snoop, but none of them could understand moo. All night long, Farmer Brown waited for an answer. Duck knocked on the door early the next morning. He handed Farmer Scott a note. Dear Farmer Scott, we will exchange our typewriter for electric blankets. Leave them outside the barn door and we'll send Duck over with the typewriter. Sincerely, they... Cow. Right. Farmer Scott decided this was a good deal. He left the blankets next to the barn door and waited for Duck to come with a typewriter. The next morning, he got a note. Dear Farmer Scott, the pond is quite boring. We like a diving board. Sincerely, the? Ducks. Show the duck. There we go. <laughs> click, clack, quack. Click, clack, quack. Clickety, clack. Quack. You got to hear a lot. What was that? Clack. Right. The end. We have one more story, boys and girls. One more story. How's Hank? You okay All right, so there? hold on, hold on. I got a, I got a phone call here. Hold on. Yeah, phone call. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. The, the, President Joe Biden. What are you calling me for? Oh, you heard, you heard. I'm doing some reading at Detroit Enterprise School. <laughs> wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. You know the principal. You're friends with Miss G G G G G G Gagnon? You you are? Oh my gosh. Why? Ooh. You want me to read a book with no pictures? So these kids are they, they got too many pictures. Why? All right, all right. I got a couple of books here with no pictures here. All right, let me see what I can do. All right, hold on. All right. Boy, he's kind of like pretty bossy, isn't he? God. All right, well, I don't know how much time we got here, but I got a couple of books here. This one here is uh, one of my favorites here. It's uh, Reading Law. All right, it's like, oh, oh, it's got a lot of pages in here. It's like 400 some odd pages. You think we got all day to read this? What do you guys think? No. You like that? <laughs> That's too long of a book? It's too long. It's too fat. It's too fat? <laughs> Uh, let me see. I might have another one in here somewhere. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, God. Let me see here. Oh, oh, oh. Got to dig real deep here. Oh, all right. What's this one say? The book with no pictures. All right. Wow. I guess we'll have to read this one. Dad. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. 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 Mr. President. What? What? How do you know what I'm reading? My gosh. Is, is Mrs. Gagnon texting you again? Oh, my God. I'm going to have to talk to my kid. All right. All right. No texting in school. Isn't that right? Right? Just put your, put your phones away, right? Okay. All right. That's what I thought. Okay. All right. Stay there, Hank. You'd be good. All right. So this is what what's it say again? The book without no pictures. Right. Okay. And we'll go for this one here. This is a goofy book. 
This is a book with no pictures. See? No pictures. They might like they might seem like no fun to have someone read it, you know, a book with no pictures. <clears throat> it probably seems boring and serious. You, you know big words. Serious, except here is how the book works. Everything the words say, the person reading the book has to say, which would be you, right? No, no it's me. <laughs> Whoa. 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 No matter what. That's the deal. That's the rule. So that means even if the words say, Ooh. Lark, wait, what? That doesn't mean anything. Blurf! Wait a second. What? This isn't the kind of book I wanted to read. And I have to say every word the book says? Um, how? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. I'm a monkey who taught myself to read. Hey, I'm not a monkey. But, and I'm reading you this book with my monkey mouth in my monkey voice. That's not true. I'm not a monkey. Look at this. Thing one, thing two. <laughs> yes, I am a monkey. Also, I'm a robot monkey. What? This is one goofy book, isn't it? In my head is made of blueberry pizza. <laughs> Wait a second. Is this whole book a trick? Can I stop reading, please? No. Say it, what? No. Say it again? No. Oh, okay. So I want to make sure. And now it's time for me to sing you my favorite song. A song? Do I really have to sing a song? Yes. Huh? Yep. Oh. Glug, glug, glug. My face is a bug. I eat ants for breakfast right off the rug. <laughs> What? This book is ridiculous. Can I stop reading yet? No. No. There are more pages. I have to read the rest? Yes. My only friend in the world, wide world, is a hippo named Boo Boo. But. Oh, <laughs> Boo Boo Butt. And also, the kid I'm reading this book to is the best kid ever. You guys are the best kids ever? Yes. Yeah, yeah you are? Yes. You got to go like this. Oh, <laughs> careful with your glasses. Oh, get that light back over here so I can read. Oh, my God. Right? Okay. And also, the kid I'm reading this book is the best kid ever in the history of the entire world at Detroit Enterprise Academy. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, really? <laughs> we'll see. And this kid is the smartest kid, too, because this kid chose this book, even though it had no pictures. <laughs> because the kids know this is a book that makes grown-ups have to say. Silly things. Right. And makes silly sounds like. Oh, no. Oh, no. Here it comes. Ready? You ready? Please don't ever make me read this book again. It is so silly. In fact, it is completely utterly preposterous. Wow, you're pretty good. What grade are you in again? Second. Oh my, and you? Second. Oh. Next time. Please, 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 please. 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 Choose a book with pictures. Please, but. Because this is just a ridiculous to read. The end. Bonk. 
I didn't want to say that. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Yay. My too. All thanks. Right. Thanks for helping here. Thank you, everyone. We My hope light you crew. enjoyed. Thank you. Bye. Goodbye. All right.